Hello class, it's Ms. Roberts here, and tonight I'm going to review the group project, what the expectations are, the goals, and what are some of the components for the project. Let's begin. Now this project is a two-part process where you collaborate on both a project and a video. Now, before you can start the video, you have to figure out what you're going to choose for a topic for your paper and the research and planning that is involved with the paper. The video is going to be based on the sections of the paper that you work on and you're going to collaborate on it together. Notice that, let me go ahead and just put this up a little bit. Okay, maybe not. Okay. So notice that we have the project, we have our group list right here. Your group list is going to be in several different places. So for instance, you're going to go on the people tab and once you go on the people tab, you're going to press your group and you'll see all the groups. However, the group that you're in is what you'll have access to. And then you're able to use the Canvas groups in order to meet each other, collaborate, ask questions, have a discussion. It's going to be like a mini Canvas group of your own. Note, I'll be able to see if you have any announcements or discussions, and I'll be able to go to each group in order to make some announcements of my own. You can also use other websites, so you can use the groups as a meeting spot, and then use other websites if you want more privacy or if you like the capabilities a little bit better. Now, the goal of this project is you're going to make one video or a series of short videos based on the group's research paper. I'll talk about videos in just a moment, but one of the easiest things you can do is create your YouTube video and create a YouTube video playlist. Each group can collaborate on a playlist, so you make your video and you place them in the order in which you want me to see them. So with the video, you're going to do the following. You're going to collaborate on a 46 page research paper, and it's going to be a PA format. Each paper must incorporate at least four resources for full credit. You're going to develop three to three to six body sections. So think of this as an extended, excuse me, think of this as an extended college level paper where you have an introduction body and conclusion, or body sections rather, and a conclusion. In the video, it's going to follow the similar format, introduction, body sections, conclusion. Now here is a list of some of the topics that we've covered this semester. The topic has to be based on something related to business communication. Now I have a list, but it's not an exhaustive list, so I'll show you what the mini outline looks like in a minute, but if you have a topic that is related to business communication, but it's not on the list, it will be approved on the group outline. So some of the topics that can be chosen, is leadership communication, we research, researched about communication a lot, diversity, DEI, trends in the workplace, you can think of trends such as quiet quitting or quiet firing or things like that. There's trends and buzzwords in the job field these days. Remote or hybrid work environments, organizational culture, and how it's displayed in communication, social media, or employees, human resources, organizational power, active listening, social styles, multi-generational workplaces. I believe I have about four to five generations in a workplace because people are continuing to work longer in their lives and there are younger generations coming up. Interviewing in the age of social media, video interviewing. And you could talk about interviewing in regards to job interviews or just other topics related to business communication. So this is not an exhaustive list, but Excuse me. It's not an exhaustive list, but 
If you have any other topics that are related to business communication, you can do the following. So let me show you the main paper outline. So it's not a huge outline, but I do many outlines so groups can decide early on when they want, what they want to talk about and how they're going to divide the subtopics. So each group, notice that this is a group assignment. So one person is going to upload the assignment or post the assignment and it will count for all the group members. So that's how all this are designed. You're going to pick your topic, create a draft piece of statement. You can make, or you can create a more elaborated elaborative thesis statement later, but you're going to figure out the main idea of your paper and just write the topic sentences of your subtopics. So how many subtopics you're going to use you have to have at least three minimum. If you're going to have more than that, just create little bullet points right here. And that's about it. So now I get to know what are the topics of each groups and how are you going to divide the information amongst yourselves? Remember to earn full credit, each person has to create an equal corporate must contribute equally to the project. Okay. Make sure you're putting research together. Make sure that you're communicating with one another and figuring out each role in the project. Also, just a quick reminder, you're going, each group is going to have a reference page of at least four sources in the back. You can definitely have more, but make sure you include in-text citations and a list of your sources in APA format. And that does not count towards the page counts. Sorry. So you're going to have 46 pages. You're going to have a title your research paper in itself. So the title and the reference page is not a part of that page count. So each group is going to have four to six pages of content double spaced. Now the video portion is pretty much an extension of your paper. So now that you created this research paper, your each person is going to talk about what they wrote or what they contributed in the excuse me, in the video. So notice I have the YouTube playlist. It's not the only way you can submit the video as well. So say for instance, you have Zoom and each person creates, excuse me, you're gonna be on the Zoom together and you're going to present your speech on the Zoom together as a group. Because it's an asynchronous course, I had to figure out creative ways to bring all of us together. So you'll be synchronous in the Zoom group or in the Zoom video, and then you're going to send me the video. So that's another way to do it. Or you can create individual YouTube videos with your portion and create or collaborate to, on a playlist. And then you send me the link to that playlist and I'm able to play the videos from top to bottom. So those are just some ways to do it. Now, another way you can do it, it will be synchronous though. You can you can have a synchronous Zoom meeting, and of course, I'll record it. Excuse me, I'll record the Zoom meeting, and we'll be able to do it that way. That will be a synchronous option, but it might be the option that works for you guys. So, you and I, or your group and I, will create a day and time for you guys to present your video. I'll record it, and of course, I will grade on the spot and then record just in case I need some more information, and that's about it. So you have three ways to submit the video, either through the playlist option where each individual shares their video, and then you just create that list. You can do this to Zoom as well, where you have your own Zoom meeting and each person presents their part. You've recorded and send me that recording via the link, or we create a synchronous environment where I'm there in that Zoom meeting and I'm seeing it live. Excuse me. One other way you can do it, and it's a little bit harder and it's for people who have editing skills. You can create just one video where you're editing everything together as well. It's not something that I require anyone to do because I don't know how to do it and I can't teach you. So these are things that I know how to do. 
such as create a video. I know how to create a Zoom, but I don't know how to edit an actual video. So those are some ways to do it. But just let me know if you have any questions. And I pretty much copied and pasted the choices. But of course, the video is a simple extension of the project. You'll take each section that you worked on. So there'll be one person just introducing the concepts and introducing the videos. Then you'll have other team members saying the body sections then you have another team member saying the conclusion or however you guys decide to split it now the video is about 18 to 15 minutes long more or less around that time you can approximate the numbers but each person has to at least speak for two to five minutes okay so at least two minutes so say if you have like five people then that's about like 10 minutes so i tried to make those numbers align a little bit we can flex the numbers a little bit, but at least speak for about two minutes in your role in your portion. And in the video, make sure to cite your sources. So in the videos, you're just going to summarize what you did in the paper. And you're going to send me the YouTube link that you collaborated with. Or if you choose to do Zoom, I believe they provide a link as well for me to watch the recorded video. So now that we talked about those sections, here are some other assignments that are going along with this project. So one of the first projects you're going to be doing together is create a group contract. So as a group contract, you already know the rules and guidelines for what I need you to do. But with group cohesiveness, and what we learned in the chapters about coming together as a group and meetings, we have to be on one accord of what our guidelines and rules are. So you're going to have the group member names and your 10 rules and guidelines for what you're going to do in the group. So you're going to abide by the rules of your team and of your team members. So these are rules that you want to go by. You can talk about how you communicate, how to respect one another, expectations for when to turn work in. That's totally up to you. And that's going to be one of the first projects you upload. And it allows for us to or allows for you guys to check in with each other. And then finally, each group is required to have a meeting agenda and meeting minutes. Now, of course, you're not going to create this for every meeting. You just have to do this for one that you're going to turn into me. So in the meeting chapter, it talks about how to have effective meetings and meetings are a big part of business communication, corporate communication, organizational communication, just organizing a meeting amongst your colleagues. So this is an agenda that I found in my old organizational, no, no, excuse me, small group communications book. You're just gonna have the group name, date, meeting place, time, what was the purpose of the meeting, who was in attendance, were there any absences, what are some topics that require ongoing discussion and new discussion goals? So for a, one meeting, you're going to create this document and attach it to your paper or upload it with your paper, either or. And then you have the meeting minutes, meeting minutes. So with the meeting minutes, it's pretty much notes of the end of that meeting and what was the meeting time? When did you call the meeting to order? So when did the meeting actually start? Sometimes there's discrepancies. Who was the person who prepared the meeting minutes? Who attended? Who was absent? And what was the summary of the group's decisions and actions? So pretty much along with your paper, you're going to create at least one meeting agenda and one meeting minute. So you don't have to do this for every single time you meet, but at least demonstrate that you know how to use these tools. It's part of the communication. Okay. So I believe that's about it. Some components of the paper. Of course, you have a mini outline. Remember these projects and these uploads require just one person uploading it and it applies to everyone. So I set it up that way in the back end. If there's someone that does not do their work, it's really simple. Uh, they will be removed from that group. 
or be removed from the back end and that individual will get a zero. So you want to make sure that you want to get all your points to participate in all of the activities for those points. So overall, you have your paper, you have your group list right here, and you're able to connect with each other in the back end via the people tab and the groups tab. If you have any questions, please let me know. I look forward to hearing and seeing your projects. This is the second to last project before the semester ends. So thank you so much for listening to me tonight. And let me know if you have any questions. All right. Bye, everyone.